Uh, yes, I have from uh, Mr. Kamru Zaman's leader, Rahul Gandhi, but that's besides the point. Uh, good evening, Navika, and good evening to all my fellow panelists. I've been listening very patiently. I hope uh, I would not be interrupted. There are two issues here, and I don't want to digress from the debate at all because it's a very important issue. It's a very serious issue. Number one, when it suits the propagandists and selectivists, they praise and believe the judiciary or the police under the BJP. When it doesn't, the same police become fascists and murderers and the same judiciary compromise and BJP stooges. So right now, they are saying they believe the Karnataka police because the police has not come out and said categorically that Harsha's murder is linked to hijab or is a hate crime. So they won't believe the parents in this case. They will believe the fascist police under the BJP. Like remember how they believe the fascist Delhi police when it said that the missing Najib from JNU had not joined ISIS. But when it didn't suit them, they believe the parents. Like in the case of Navreet Singh, whose tractor slammed into a police barricade on Republic Day last year and he died. But these propagandists said that fascist Delhi police had shot him. Remember the Lakhimpur incident, Navika, when the jeep mowed down the protesters? There, these same propagandists suddenly believed the fascist UP police and the SIT of it because it said it was a pre-planned conspiracy and not an accident. Remember the lynching of Rinku Sharma last year where the police said there was no communal ankle but Rinku's parents insisted it was otherwise? And the strange thing was, the police, those who had barely, two weeks earlier, believed the parents over the police on the death of Navreet Singh, now believe the police over the parents. In Navreet's case, the police was communal. In Rinku's case, it was secular. I wonder what it would be called in this case in a week's time, when the investigation is complete. Likewise for the judiciary. When Justice Devani overturned Maya Kodnani's trial court conviction and acquitted her, they called him a BJP stooge and a villain. But when the same judge overturned the trial court acquittal of three Hindus in the Viram Gram riots case and convicted them, they called him a hero. Point number two, very briefly, Navika. If this is indeed a case of punishment for blasphemy, and it appears to be so, given that a fatwa against Harsha was proclaimed seven years ago for his alleged comment against Allah and Prophet Muhammad, then I'm afraid the writing was on the wall. Nothing could have been done. Harsha was a dead man walking. Just like Kishan, just like Kamlesh Tiwari, because Allah has specifically ordered that those who abuse Allah and his messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter and prepared for them a humiliating punishment, 3357. And that the penalty on, for those who on, wage war against Allah 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 and his messenger is that they be killed or crucified 533. We have seen uh, it all no, before, no, please, Navika. Please, please, from this Rajpal, is, this is not, who not published done, Nabila Rasul, you cannot who speak Kamlesh about Tiwari, any religion, whose death was demanded by no, 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 I, I want to I want to ask, I want to ask, I want to ask Saida Fala. One minute. One minute, Kamru Zaman. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary sahab. One minute. One minute. You have all the freedoms of choice, of expression, of speaking on anything. But Dr. Anand Ranganathan does what not. What hateful ideology killed Kamlesh Tiwari? Ask Kamru Zaman. Agar himmat hai to bata do Kamru Zaman. No, what, what ideology killed Pehli Khan? What ideology killed Kapriz Ansari? Can you please tell me? Just five seconds ago, he was saying what about me? You are doing what about me? You don't have any logic. Now he is what about me? I asked him. More Muslims. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. I, I want to, I want to get in. I want to get in. I want to get in. Vivek Shivasta. One minute, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't invited you alone to the debate. There are other people who need to get a word in. And Vivek Shivasta. It took five seconds. Please, I want to ask him a simple question. Okay. He was talking about Navika. We are prisoners of hateful ideology that killed Harsha. I want to ask him, nee, nee. Mr. Kamru Zaman, what hateful ideology killed Kamlesh Tiwari? What, what hateful, hateful ideology, ideology beheaded him? And don't what talk of what about him. All right, respond. Respond, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, to the pointed Anandji. question asked by, asked by Anand Ranganathan. I want to what, who yes. killed, which, which ideology yes, killed yes. Kamlesh Tiwari? That is the exact point that I want this debate to Bolye proceed. Na. Navika, the basic point that I wanted to discuss here in your debate today was exactly this, the question that Ananji has asked just now. What Navika ideology killed Kamlesh Tiwari? The yes. same hate ideology that killed Tab 
ब्रेस अंसारी द सेम हेट आइडियोलॉजी दिट किल पहलू खान द सेम हेट आइडियोलॉजी दैट हैज डिवाइडेड इंडिया ऑन रिलीजियस सेंसरियन लाइन सो यू आर सेइंग पुट सो यू आर सेइंग हेट किल्ड हर्षा यू आर सेइंग हेट किल्ड हर्षा ऑल दोस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर यू आर यू एडमिटिंग हेट किल्ड हर्षा सो यस If the investigation, oh, if the investigation, I, I, I Pehlu Khan, Pehlu Khan yes. case, in Pehlu Khan's case and Tabrez's case, did they wait for the investigation to end before declaring it a hate crime, Anand Ranganathan? Na, no, na, Navika, Navika, I have really now caught the rat's tail, uh, probably It metaphorically speaking. I am now, now, come to the man, please, please, please don't interrupt. I didn't interrupt. Please, please. Thank you so much, Navika. I am going to take 15 seconds. I want to quote someone. And then I will ask one of your panelists, who is represented uh, representing AIMIM, who said this. And I'm quoting this quote: "Wo zalim, wo kutta, jo Uttar Pradesh mein baith kar Allah ki shaan mein gustaki kiya, yaad rakh. Tu aaj jail mein hai, magar dunya tere liye chuhe ke bil ki tarah ban jayegi, insha Allah. Tere gustaki ne tere apni barbadi ko taawat di hai." He said this about Kamlesh Tiwari, and a few weeks later, Kamlesh Tiwari was beheaded. Now I ask again, not just one Congress panelist, but the AIMIM panelist, which hateful ideology killed Kamlesh Tiwari? Saida Fal, Saida Falak ji, answer me. Yesterday, yesterday BJP MLA Raghavendra Singh during the UP election no, campaigning said me. that any Hindu who me. doesn't vote for BJP is not a Hindu. Is not He has in his in his vein no, there is Muslim blood. If any woman, if any I am responding. BJP is responsible no. for every hate BJP, being spread in India was, nowadays. This was OVC who said it. How is OVC BJP? BJP is responsible for every hate being spread in India all wow. over India. Just Navika. because elections are going on. Wow. So continue. Wow. And this so and OVC this statement doesn't account for anything. No, no, but, no. Navika, Navika, thirty seconds. With due respect to uh, my good friend Mr. Chaudhary and my great friend Nupur. I have to say, in my first installment, I vociferously disagreed with Mr. Chaudhary, but he has a point, and I agree with him. And here, may I please disagree with my good friend Nupur because, boy, Sarkar, who is it? BJP. If you are giving PFI so many slurs, then ban him, right? Mr. Chaudhary has a point. Simi was banned. Why is PFI not banned when all no, the ex-Simiites have joined PFI? And respond. Ten seconds. Respond. Nupur, respond. Nupur, respond. Nupur, no, no. I, I, I just want to this. end. I want uh, no, to Nupur, end. Nupur, Nupur, Nupur. Five seconds. Five seconds. Professor. Yeah, I know. I want just to five seconds. This. You know, you know, PFI and SDPI nearly killed your great friend Tejasvi Surya. They came to kill him. They could not find him at a rally, anti-CA rally or CA rally. They nearly killed an RSS worker. And you know how much they charged for that? Ten thousand each. साठ हजार के लिए वो लोगों को मारने को तैयार हैं अभी भी बैन नहीं है तो मिस्टर चौधरी का पॉइंट जायज है नुपुर फंडामेंटल और कट्टरवादी मानसिकता इस कंप्लीटली अप्रूव्ड फ्रॉम दिस कंट्री आई एम नॉट सेइंग नो 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 दे आर ऑलरेडी बैन दे आर ऑलरेडी बैन नो 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 अलाउ